quick overview of the uh, character element system. So here I have a, um, a new mesh that I want to add to the system. It's a, it's a skinned mesh. It actually has a full humanoid rig, um, which is a whole other thing that I'll demonstrate later on. But so I've got it in my prep scene here. And I can just add a element helper. Um, which is basically allows you to define any number of um, sub meshes. So in this case, it has one sub mesh, but you can actually have a single FBX with multiple sub meshes within it and uh, define each. For example, uh, if I look at the bikini, it has top, bottom, and bra, and underwear. It's in, the, in a single FBX. So. Um, so I could actually load a whole outfit at once and then define the uh, the separate um, sub meshes. So I can just hit just add an element and you can see it creates a, um, a separate scriptable object here. The scriptable object is the thing that stores all of the um, info for the um, element, whether it's a static prop or a hair. Um, or just skin clothing, which this one is, and then we can define what layer we want it to appear on. So this one is uh, fairly tight. So uh, normally this kind of cloth is like layer five. You can see here shirts are layer four, seven, and ten. So okay, we'll add this one to four. Um, it has a source prefab, which then is basically when at runtime it'll instantiate the prefab. And then based on which meshes we have defined, apply those meshes to the base character um, mesh. So we can just hit add and find a, say we're going to control this skin mesh rem renderer. Um, you can also just hit blah and hit populate. There's a weird thing with scriptable objects. I haven't figured out why it doesn't refresh. So working on that. So now that we have our single mesh, um, we've told the element which mesh we're actually going to use. Um, then we can start adding material variants. So each variant is um, named, which would probably be like a localization string for the UI or something. So, so we can uh, just call this cancel. Oh no, wait, this is tanked. A. And then um, for each variant, because a clothing can actually have multiple meshes within it, um, I don't know, sometimes you can have complex items that might be made up of multiple skin meshes. Um, a single variant defines which mesh the material applies to. So you could have a single material variant that actually changes the materials for multiple meshes at once. Um, in this case, this one just has one, so I can just do, just tell it that it's A. We can set up another one, um, and so on and so on. So you can just basically define all of your materials like this. Um, so this is a pretty freeform system. There's nothing specific to any of the assets that I have. Here, so you should be able to, or would be able to use this for pretty much any kind of customization system. So yeah, once we've got that, I can just put the canvas on the mesh here, um, and we've got um, now this scriptable object is the system that the uh, the game will read, and it'll spawn the canvas all, and then basically give the uh, which options you want to display the variants for. Um, <clears throat> so as an example, here's another, I've got a tank top as well that I haven't defined any variants, so I can just, uh, this one I think I have three, so um, just name them the same as the materials. And again, I can use this name it's going to be more uh, a localization lookup than anything that's actually displayed in the UI. I'll 
figure out what I want to call them later on. And that's it. So you can define all of these um, different gear or equipment that has multiple color variants very quickly and easily.